Spring Run Chinook Salmon are one of four runs of Chinook Salmon in California's Central Valley and one of two of those runs that are listed as threatened or endangered under the Endangered Species Act. As new threats emerge for salmon, it's often really difficult to come up with direct actions to help those salmon. One of these issues that's emerged in recent years is a thiamine deficiency, which is a vitamin that salmon typically get from their food supply in the ocean. In 2019, we started noticing that the Chinook populations were deficient in thiamine. And in uh, 2021, we started injecting the, the fish with thiamine in order to uh, decrease mortality. At spring run are unique in the fact that they actually return to the Feather River in the spring once they return to the hatchery and we tag them so that we can tell the difference in the fall between the spring run and the, the fall run and that the broods don't get mixed. It just made sense to inject them with uh, thymine because we were already getting our hands on these fish and already marking them. So we partnered with DFW, consulted with their vet, and we were given a prescription for thymine in order to inject these fish. And then we release them back to the river. Thymine is vitamin B1 and it's just a crucial vitamin for basic function of life, for neurons, immune systems. We came up with a dose that we could inject into each fish that would be enough to replenish their thymine levels. And so we started that process and it seemed that these fish responded really well. The work that we are doing to help spring run Chinook salmon with thiamine deficiency is just one of the many ways that government agencies and non-governmental organizations and other interest groups like water contractors are currently collaborating at what I would say are unprecedented levels to help spring run Chinook salmon into the future. It's really hard to uh, get your hands on fish in the river and so this is a great opportunity while they're doing the thymine study here to also get a fat meter measurement. This is part of the thermal thresholds project that's funded by the state water board. We're grabbing energy density measurements of salmon in various stages of their migration in the Sacramento, Feather, and San Joaquin. And we're also getting water temperatures for those migratory paths and relating that to energy use by the fish in their spawning migration. Salmon populations around the world really are imperiled and it's very important to get as much data and to do salmon specific research to look at different life stages and different parts of their life history and get as much data as we can to really do the best resource management we can.